a bunch of people asking me like when can you do the build review what engravements do i need what relic sets do i need all these good things and every time i wanted to answer it it's tough because some people ask and then if i have to answer it every time it'll be a little bit harder so i was gonna make a video anyway and if I'm going to make a video anyway, might as well do it on live and talk about it while I answer a question at the same time. And then I can upload this video after being edited. So you can say hi, YouTube now. Hi, YouTube. Oh, shit. Oh, so this is very simple. Let's let's go over the rules. All of you guys are wondering, hey, I'm worried about Valton, right? Normal, normal or hard. Doesn't matter. Uh, am I prepared, right? I think going over every single class and every single build very very quickly and i can list out engravings that i would personally take and i will have no problems clearing it uh so make sure you guys understand that this is my personal uh recommendation as in what i would take at at my current skill level so my setups are very very weak it could be weak comparable to other people. So you have two choices. You guys take the same build or invest a little more, a little more, right? And I suggest something like plus armors. The more armors and more weapons you do, you get hurt less and you just, do gen you just generally do more damage. Engravings, you don't really need to touch it. <laughs> Remember to check this before going into it because I know everyone's going to ask, why not this engraving? Why not that engraving? Why not this engraving? This is efficient to the T. The reason why the intro is going to be a little bit longer for this video is because people always think differently and there are different preferences. And as you may know from my other videos, my other guide videos, I obviously say things like, I try to teach you guys how to fish and the thought process of why you should have this, correct? Therefore, the builds that I'm going to take might not be the same for you. If that is the case, don't switch it. Just go with your build, okay? It is very important to try everything out in Trixian and make your own build that you are comfortable with. Now, let's go over the Warriors first. Gunlancer Blue. Four threes is, is way too much, so I'm going, I squeezed it in into three threes. So when you have three engravings, combat readiness three is not that very good, but you can have it as combat readiness uh, level three, or I can have Crystal and combat that's level one this is this is pretty much doable this this is definitely doable I mean, it's very cheap too and obviously the combat set ratio is going to be spec crit and all spec and if you get happen to get the relic set you go nightmare too now let's go to gunlancer red supercharge lone knight and grudge that's it and my stat is going to be crit swift and one swift ring and all crit or one swift earring and all crit berserker masters of tenacity mayhem and i think curse doll is better and then you have an option to go like raid captain let me add an optional stuff for you here raid captain works uh adrenaline works I don't really like increased mass. This is me personally, okay? This is me personally taking the engravings. Also crit swift, one swift ring and all crit. And then same thing, nightmare, demon beast, and preordain. This is how I would take it, guys, uh, by the way, okay? Berserker tech, grudge. And then I would take something, precision dagger, and then keen blunt. And then I'll have uh, tech level one. Now let's go to Destroyer. Hammer, Destroyer, if I play him, Grudge, Hammer, and Supercharge. And Crit, Swift. This is as much as Crit, so all Crit. So if I say all Crit and all Spec, this means only your necklace is different. Destroyer Gravity, Grudge, Gravity Training, Master Brawler. And you also have an option too, here. I would do Curse Doll, and I guess Barricade works. Spec, Crit and all spec now paladin very simple blast aura expert awakening swift spec all swift talk about scrapper shock training three and i would take grudge and i would also take uh you have a lot of choices master of ambush cursed all adrenaline and spiritual person 
Kaijutsu, same thing. Grudge. And Master of Ambush. Or, I would take, uh, wait, uh, Curse Stall, Adrenaline. And there is also Keem Blunt, but I would make it Keem Blunt if for if Adrenaline, okay? Striker, Death Blow. First intention, it's really important to have crit swift so i would go all swift and since you're lacking crit you would put adrenaline to keep it a little bit up we're missing lance master right Soulfist is an interesting class now uh you can actually keep that adrenaline i'm wondering if you can keep that adrenaline stack up when i play which is fine so i'm kind of simulating myself if i play a robust Soulfist on my Soulfist character Going to Valtim at 333 three, three, with legendary accessories only. Keen Blunt doesn't work because I have less combat stats. Uh, it's either Adrenaline on Cursed Stall, so I think it's up to you guys. I'll just, I would just go Cursed Stall for that flat damage increase. And then you have Spec Crit, all Spec. Good. So we have covered the fighters about. Great. Now let's go to Hunters. Artillerist. And Artillerist normal. Artillery's Barrage. This is after the update, right? Getting two class engravings on a 333 is so expensive. I mean, you do get you do get a guaranteed uh, class accessory from Argos, but you know, Garage Barrage Hitmaster Firepower Level One. But it's see, wow, that's so hard to get it. It's so expensive. I think I would just make uh, Artillers later then, because if it's like cheap, there's so many cheaper alternatives. So I guess I'll just use these, this build instead of this. The trying out the barrage build sounds so hard uh, at at a current situation right now. So if you if you happen to carve a Grudge Adrenaline Stone, and then you get a six, you have a free Adrenaline Level One because you're working on two class engravings anyway. So I think that's like the thought process for it. If I'm going to play Barrage Artillerist. Uh, which is the which is usually the meta right now, after the uh, balance buff. Now sharpshooter, loyal companion, death strike we have there. Uh, Keen blunt is super efficient with uh, sharpshooter now, and then you have hitmaster. Okay, uh, loyal companion, Keen blunt, hitmaster. So this one's also an option. Raid captain is also an option. Okay. Why did ATK say Death Strike isn't popular? Most people I see in Loa run it because it's an end game. I am matching with your environment in NA. Gunslinger is super simple. <laughs> if scared, can use Keem Blunt instead, okay? Time to hunt is it would be a Hitmaster. Now, this is like super expensive. So I think I would do the same the same way as they did this here this is from stone leftover okay dead eye the the thought process of this is this is all legendary accessories and since you're gonna since you guys are gonna rebuild your character anyway with relics i'm trying to figure out what i would like this is the thing that i would personally take if i were in your case like if i were in, in the na server and all that stuff right so um Master of Ambush Spirits and Keen Blunt has one does seem very good to me because uh, I want that flat speed increase to make this Master of Ambush viable more. I'm missing Scouter, but Scouter is not out, so I don't need to cover Scouter. Okay, Death Blade Surge, Death Blade Re, Grudge Adrenaline and Surge. Seems okay to me. Well, this can be a uh, master of ambush too. Yes, your uh, uh, people guys are correct. Supercharge, grudge, and re, and spec crit all spec spec crit all spec. Shadow hunter, demonic impulse, grudge, and what I would do is, I, sh I would actually have a different build uh, for legendaries only. I would do spirit of Fortune. And then I would put spec crit. I specifically remember this build was so strong on the eye level. 
This was like insanely strong for their eye level for sure. I remember this too. Cause I was like, when I was uh, uh, raising my ult. Uh, perfect suppression. Uh, garage. Great. Uh, now what else is, what else are we missing? We are not missing anyone for, cause Reaper is not out, right? So Reaper is not out. So this is done for assassins. Now let's go to the mages now. Sork is like three builds, right? So you have all that attack, hitmaster, and reflux. Oh, you can actually have level one reflux too. There's so many options because Sork is like a newer class. If I happen to do it, it would be grudge and like reflux one. Casting, instant cast should be live reflux, adrenaline, and keen blunt. Seriously, one or more. Because it's cheap. MP efficiency is pretty cheap. Uh, Sork Igniter, all out attack. Igniter. Hmm. Or you can have Hitmaster if you want. Uh, you know what? Instead of Grudge, I would do Precision Dagger. Because Sork is just. Sork is just like. Big dig damage every time. Doesn't really need anything else. Spec swift. All spec. But I would go spec crit. Cause you but you'd be so slow. So I might not just play igniter though. I might not play igniter. I'm not I'm not I'm not a fan of slow characters. Bart, super simple. Uh desperate salvation. Heavy armor. Awakening. Easy. Swift spec. All swift. And then you have yearning. Too. We did cover every single class. So yeah, so this this uh this solves it. Um so this finishes it on the the classes again. Uh these are the engravings that I will personally take to uh Valton to do Valton and I won't have any problems. I can't even get MVP if I can because I because if you just dodge everything, use all your skills, and then you're good. What I'm trying to prove here is you don't need to be FOMOing to spend a lot of money to get to four threes. Instead, get a solid three three with not spending too much payouts, not spending too much gold, so that you'd be comfortable running Valton and practicing Valton. And if you're masterful at Valton and then you have a static group and you can beat it, you can get the new accessories and sell those accessories and make gold. And later on, when you have enough gold in the future, you make a real decked out build with the relic accessories, even, uh, uh, five threes, right? Even uh, four threes and a one. Those kind of stuff for getting ready for a via kiss. So spending less and being more efficient with the materials that you get is more important. That's what I think. So that being said, I think uh, this concludes our talk here, right? Where can I download this spreadsheet? It is in notes. I always do. I always so in notes section, guys. Uh, you can have so there's a bunch of cool stuff. There's Synergy. There's a Synergy map that I have. And then there's a Valton engraving now. I'm going to put on the front. And there's a calculator for engravings that I use most of the time. And you have the crit calculator. What this crit calculator does is you crit. Your crit stat is 500. You have 17.5% crit rate. If your swiftness is 500, your movement speed is 108.6. So your rate capped on level 3. The uh, sufficiency percentage is 3.9. Yep. So as that being said, this concludes the video, guys. Say bye to YouTube. Bye, guys. As always, thank you, guys. Bye.